Hey guys, check it out. That is one of the most anticipated new cars of the year. It is the new Hyundai Santa Cruz. And in this video, we're gonna find out if that's a car, if that's a truck, or if that is indeed a ute, as you Aussies like to say. So we're gonna start at the engine, then move on to the passenger compartment, and then show you the most important part, of course, the business end, which is the bed. So let's get right to it, and let's go under the hood. Now, Hyundai has built a vehicle that they describe as being, well, for the active lifestyle. So they're not calling it a truck. They're not calling it a car. They're not calling it a youth. They're calling it something for people who like to go surfing, who like to go skiing, and who need a bed instead of a crossover or an SUV. And to keep that kind of peppy, they've given you two engine choices. So this, of course, being on a press launch here in, well, outside of Santa Cruz, of course, California, is a 2.5 liter turbo. It puts out about 200 and 80 horsepower and it's paired to all-wheel drive there's also a 2.5 liter non-turbo that puts out a little bit less about 190 horsepower that's also available in front wheel or all-wheel drive now the biggest distinction between the two the smaller engine and the bigger engine is an eight-speed transmission i know that doesn't sound like there's a distinction there but the smaller engine gets an automatic the bigger engine gets a dual clutch and if you're thinking about going off-road in this whatever we're going to call it at the end of this video, you probably want to go with the smaller of the two engines because you're going to want the automatic. We've tested dual clutches and in the past, whenever they get off-road and then the wheel speeds differ because there's loose gravel, they tend to overheat. Now, Hyundai says they solved that problem, but we're going to have to test it to find out. So let's talk about the styling. I like it. Um, Hyundai has incorporated this vehicle based on the Tucson architecture so they've got a very similar grill to the tucson it's kind of a shield so if you like your greek or roman shield front ends this is certainly a cool looking front end there's also lighting in all these little square bits uh, and at night it lights up actually i'll try to turn it on and show you let me just turn it on so we parked it in the shade on purpose so you can see the lighting uh, and it's really cool it's a really unique lighting signature you will not mistake this for anything else uh, and I think they've done a really good job it's very upright it's very bold it's very in your face uh, and it's very prominent so you know if you like this design language these kind of intersecting squares and triangles you'll see it throughout the entire vehicle so let's hop on the inside Jim why don't you go around and let's park park my butt in here and let's talk about the interior now this vehicle is about seven inches shorter than a honda ridgeline uh, which means that it's a compact vehicle seven inches may not seem like a lot but in today's world where everything is double or triple xl it is a lot inside if you like the hyundai tucson you'll like this a lot it's very comfortable i have a not a massive sunroof but a good size sunroof as you can tell, I have this weird body where my torso is longer than my legs, and yet I have plenty of headroom, I have plenty of leg room, uh, and it's very comfortable. You get a big 10.4-inch uh, screen over here. You also get another screen over here, uh, and then you can show this, Jim. I don't know if you can see it, but what Hyundai does is it actually shows you a little camera view every time you turn your turn signal on. So uh, either right or left, you get a little camera view of what's next to you. Honda does that as well, but only on one side. With the Hyundai, you get it on both sides. Now, Hyundai does some of the best infotainment in the biz. Uh, this is one of the fully loaded models. So I've got the Monroney right here. So this is the top of the line 2020 Hyundai Limited all-wheel drive. Uh, and if you look down here, you're looking at 41,100. Uh, so, you know, it's not inexpensive. But the car starts at about 25000 if you go with the smaller engine uh, and the front wheel drive. Uh, but since we are in a press launch, we get all the bells and whistles. Uh, one of the other things you do here is you have wireless phone charging right here. I have uh, heated and uh, cooled seats, which is really nice. I have a center differential lock, and we'll talk about all-wheel drive a little bit later in this video. Uh, I have this kind of interesting mixture of uh, screen and then these haptic touch controls. I'm not a big fan of not having a volume knob. If you guys have watched my reviews, you know that that's one of my little uh, little things. Uh, but yeah, 
yeah, yeah, it's not grand, but there's also a steering wheel mounted volume control knob. So if you don't like these haptic touch ones, you don't have to have to use them. One of the things that Hyundai is very proud of is this button right here. You'll see it says diffuse and style wise, you've got this giant air vent that goes basically all the way across the dashboard. And if you hit that diffuse button, it gently wafts cold or warm air uh, at you depending on, you know, what temperature it is outside. Now, the other thing, of course, that Hyundai does is it gives you their full suite of safety tech. So things like autonomous braking, um, blind side monitoring, all this stuff uh, that makes this vehicle not only um, stylish, but also safe. And I'm really a big proponent of all that because, you know, being safe is paramount to being anything else in the vehicle. Now, uh, let's jump in the back seat uh, and see how much room there is. I had to move the seat up just a little bit uh, because you'll see the reason why in a second. Oh, by the way, in this upper trim level, you also get paddle shifters. So with a dual clutch, if you want to pretend you're a race car driver, you can. Now, one of the things about mid-sized trucks that's always a little bit tricky is, you know, how upright they are. Um, so the nice thing about this vehicle is that it's, you know, not too upright, but having moved my seat up you'll see that back here it is a little tight uh, and that's where you know you're having basically the downside of having what is in essence a compact truck car ute uh, and headroom there's a little concave area of the roof right here so i do fit but yeah for somebody who's 6'2 uh, this would be rather tight i do like the fact that there are vents back here that's always a thoughtful feature and like many mid-sized trucks check it out there's a little cubby hole right there where you can store things um, so I think that is going to be very useful for well for me if I were off-roading this is where I would put all of my recovery gear um, so let's look at the business end of this vehicle oh yeah I almost forgot thank you Jim you also have check it out a little window here so if you have a pooch bag here or your furry friend you can allow a little fresh air but let's look at the most unique feature And this by far is the most unique feature. Hyundai says it's a first in class. And what I'm talking about is this tonneau cover that actually comes from the factory. So the first question I was wondering is, this is great. It allows me to store stuff securely. It's lockable, but is it waterproof? And if you're wondering that, the answer is yes and no. If it's raining, it's probably waterproof. If you're at a self car wash and you're hosing it down, it's probably gonna leak. But let me show you the business end of the truck which of course is the bed now like honda honda has given a lot of thought to this bed it's a little bit over four foot long so it's not huge keep in mind you know a mid-sized truck can have up to a five or six foot bed of course you can even get longer beds in a full-size truck so it's not huge and the tonneau cover uh, does take up a little bit of space right there so you know if you're thinking about putting like a dirt bike in here or bicycle uh, with this optional cover you're going to lose a little bit of space now the cool part about it is of course right here which is very similar to all your ridgeline fans it's a little compartment where you can keep things dry or secure uh, they have put two little little plugs here so in case you're going to go tailgating and you decide to fill it with your favorite beverage you can drain it out but uh, it is very usable, not quite as big as the Ridgelines, that one is pretty massive, but nevertheless, a good place to hide stuff that, uh, that you're not wanting to get stolen or be seen. Uh, the other cool thing, of course, is you've got lighting in the bed. There are three lighting points. There's a light here, uh, there's a light on the other side, and then there's a light back here. So if at night you're using this to load your bikes, your gardening equipment, I don't think you're gonna be loading mulch in here probably, even though this does have an incredible amount of payload, about 1,600 pounds, which is more than many full-size trucks. Yeah, go figure, but 1,600 pounds is what Hyundai says is the payload. Now, back here, you've got little cubbies, and this one has a hidden feature, which is, uh, let me check my notes here, because I don't want to tell, the, I don't want to give this to you wrong. Let's see what that guy is. I can't find my notes. I think it's a 115 volt plug. So, you know, not, not exactly a Ford hybrid where you can power an electric car, but certainly a neat feature and a neat cubby hole. You also have this rail system here. So lots of tie down locations. So if you are putting in 
I don't know, a bicycle, or if you can get a small dirt bike in here, you know, kind of the crossway wise, you could probably tie it down. So you've got one, two, three, these are movable, four. Uh, just a lot of thoughtful features. Now, as a truck, it's got a tow. So you may be wondering, how much does it tow? Uh, and this particular vehicle tows 5,000 pounds, which is actually a lot. Now, next question we get immediately is, is there a built-in brake controller? And the answer is no. Uh, it's wired, if you get the 2.5 non-turbo, it tows three and a half and it's wired for a four pin. If you get this one, the 2.5 turbo, it's wired for a seven pin. And from the factory, no, from the dealership, you can get a tow hitch. Uh, and then if you're you know, towing 5,000 pounds, I would look at something like a wireless Prodigy brake controller. Certainly makes for much safer towing, but three and a half and up to 5,000 pounds of towing capability. And then let me go over some of my other notes that I have here, because I've got some other important fa facts and stats that you'll be interested in. There are five models. It starts with the SE, right around, like I said, 25. This fully loaded limited is 41,000. Um, Hyundai calls it, get this, a sport adventure vehicle. So uh, now we have the official designation and perhaps uh, the most important number for all of you off-roaders is 8.6 inches of ground clearance. Uh, and there's also another big distinction. You've got basically two choices of wheels. So let's talk about the wheels and tires. You can get these, which are 20 inch wheels, uh, but in the 2.5 liter non-turbo, you can get 18 inch wheels, which will allow you to put bigger and taller sidewalls on here. Uh, the problem with these 20 inches is of course, the sidewall and if you've been watching our off-road stuff you know what happens when you take something off-road with very big tires and not enough depth to them uh, other cool thing is like just like the jeep there are these cute little uh hyundai easter eggs that are hidden among um this kind of molded plastic there's one there let me show you this one jim another one right there that's basically a santa cruz uh, and then like a chevy uh to get into the bed, you've got a built-in step, which I think is a really useful feature. Uh, and the great thing about these smaller pickup trucks, and I just called it a pickup truck, is that you can reach into the bed and get at things, unlike some of the new, well, we've got a TRX, you know, you know, that, if I was actually trying to get into it. Uh, so a lot of thoughtful features, a lot of uh, thoughtful product went into this. Um, let me see if I got everything that we might go through. So yeah, we've got a 10.4 inch display. Uh, there's a 15 watt wireless phone charger. And I wanted to bring that up because uh, a lot of new vehicles, while they have wireless phone charging, it's barely enough to keep the phone charged if you're using something like Google Maps. Uh, Hyundai says that with the 15 watt, it'll quickly charge it. Um, uh, and uh, basically it's, uh, well, it's, it's a brand new segment. Now it is available currently already at your Hyundai dealerships and with what's going on today with the chip shortage we've gotten emails from you guys where some dealers are already asking over sticker for it uh, and that's just well the state of the world that we live in today but uh, we're gonna have a full review of this talk about driving impressions uh, talk about hopefully off-roading and we're trying to talk uh, to Hyundai to get a long-term loan of this because I'm really curious you know how does this compare uh, to the new and upcoming Ford Maverick so um, I've always think to myself, you know, if you have the opportunity to have what Hyundai and what other manufacturers would call white space, in other words, uh, an area where there is no vehicle in, and like, you might be thinking to yourself, well, not that long ago, the Subaru Baja was in the space. Yes, but Hyundai says that's so long ago that people have forgotten about it uh, and that people are now ready to have a sports adventure vehicle. But Best of all, not only will you have one to choose from, but with the upcoming Maverick, you will have two to choose from. So let me know in the comments below the question that I asked, uh, which is, is this a car? Is it a truck? Is it a ute? Or is it a sports adventure vehicle? Guys, thank you for choosing to watch TFL and thank you for joining me on this walk around of Hyundai's new Santa Cruz, built in America designed in California. I sound like a Hyundai commercial, but they're very proud of that. See you guys next time. Ciao.